Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome back to Sammy's Workshops. One of my hobbies is machine embroidery. You've seen some videos here on the channel before about that, and it does take a lot of different colors of thread. In the past, we stored all these hundreds of spools of thread on racks either sitting on shelves or hung up on the walls of the sewing room. The problem here is that it takes up a lot of space and the spools collect dust, which is a major enemy of thread. It dries them out, the thread gets brittle, and it's unusable to sew with. I also need to figure out how to deal with all the colors of paint for my models too, so storage is an issue in a small workspace. I found this cool little cabinet at Ikea of all places. It has six drawers that fit almost all my thread spool sizes. It's on wheels so we can go wherever we need it to go, and they aren't too terribly expensive. The first one, though, only held a small amount of the thread spools I have, and after merging several thread collections together with my housemates, who also sew, we discovered we needed a lot more drawers. So back to Ikea for two more units. These units are pretty easy to build. I did leave the wheels off the second one that I got. In reality, that would be the third one overall. Uh, but I did that so I could stack the two units to fit the space we had. I did secure them together with some Chicago bolts, also known as bookshelf bolts. A couple of holes were drilled uh, from the top into the bottom, and then the bolts went in and were tightened up. And voila, we have more storage. We did rearrange the living room work tables a little bit and we got all the thread cabinets next to each other and then the sorting began. My housemates already had their threads in numerical order. We like to use the Floriani thread and most are the 5,000 yard spools. We started with 1 through 99 in the top drawer, then 100 to 199 in the next, and so on and so forth. Some of our spools are the older style that are a little bit taller, and they have a difficult to use thread end keeper. So we use some pigtail holders to keep the end of the thread from unraveling. The dollar store is a great place for those. And uh, due to the taller cone size though, sometimes we have to lay those on their sides. In the larger bottom drawers, we placed a lot of our jumbo cones. Now those ones are too big to stand up, so they get laid over on their sides as well. This works for us. Uh, I do still have some thread in tubs in some of the closets. Uh, the organization videos for those, I'll, I'll put links to down below. Um, but I'll find those in time and get those mixed in here too. I do have a different kind of drawer cabinet still in my home office and workshop um, that may fit all the paints for my model trains and such, but I may need to get a, another one of these too in time depending upon how that works. These are pretty nifty and again not terribly expensive. If you do beading, jewelry making, or other crafts with small parts and supplies, one or more of these may help you get organized too. I will put some links in the description down below for you. I'm not sponsored by IKEA, just a very happy camper. Although if they want to send me a couple, I certainly won't complain, hint hint. Well, that's it for this quick organization tip video. I will share some more of these as time goes along. Please hit the like and subscribe to get more videos, share it with a friend or two, and maybe take a couple minutes and watch another video. There's a link coming up here with another one I've selected just for you. It's okay. Go on and watch another one. You know you want to. Thanks again, and till next time, my friends, see ya.